go. Good afternoon, so we're on our uh, a field trip with the bees again and um, Wilma's on the camera and I'm using plenty of smoke here because uh, I don't want Wilma to get chased. She's got a veil on but her arms and legs are uh, exposed and uh, we've got a hive here that was um, yesterday it was only one box and I decided to put an extra box on top yesterday and it was that full of bees it was taking steps to swarm so it had quite a few queen cells in there so I broke all the queen cells down and uh, put four of the frames up above the queen excluder I put a queen excluder there and uh, because all the frames were full of brood I just put a uh, the mat over there just to give them a little bit of warmth and uh, let the bees protect the uh, brood. So I'm pleased to say that they haven't swarmed. So uh, I'm just going to check the, the bottom the bottom frames and uh, see if there's any queens any new queen cells in there. As you can see, my bread and butter work. Bread and butter knife works good as a hive tool. Don't let anybody tell you that smoke is stressful to the bees. All the smoke does is it makes the bees eat honey because they think there's a fire coming. So they eat honey and then while they're eating honey they're not, they're not chasing me or Wilma. <laughs> and then uh, as soon as the uh, threat of the fire passes and there's no longer a threat of a fire, they just deposit the honey back into the honeycomb again. And you've got to remember that they're continually moving honey around inside their hive all the time. They're continually just moving honey. So, uh, see, that's my bread and butter knife. Just leave it up. So, uh, I'm just going to make sure this is a, uh, a frame that had no foundation. It was just a foundationless frame and uh, it's got mostly uh, worker self, worker brood on that. I'll just see if I can find the queen. You can. Uh, See the bees busily uh, doing their duties. Um, every now and again you can see a bee doing a dance. Well, it's getting a bit late in the afternoon. Uh, so whether they're actually doing the bee dance, uh, it might be getting a bit late for that now. But they're continually communicating with each other with uh, little vibrations and little waggles and that sort of thing. Uh, now in these cells here, you can see uh, sealed brood uh, right over to uh, newly laid eggs, to uh, grubs of varying stages of growth, uh, to the pollen that's been stored in the cells. Uh, well, just if you want to do an argument about uh, Langstroth hives uh, versus um, top bar hives, this is a good argument for it. You watch this. That's a good argument for it. Yeah. I want to see if I can find the queen. And see how easy the frames come out? The reason why we're here so late in the afternoon is because the weather's been so hot and uh, during the days and uh, and I don't come without any protection so I, I really get, I really swelter, oh there's the queen here, I really swelter with my bee suit on. Um, now I broke all the queen cells down but they've built more, you can see there's, see mm, those yes. brand new queen cells there. I'm just going to see if yeah, there's eggs in there. So they've decided they still want to swarm. 
So I've got to take steps to prevent that from happening. Uh, now, where was the queen? She may have changed sides. So I've got to uh, come tomorrow and uh, or the next couple of days and make sure I break those queen cells down and give them plenty of work to do. She was on this, she's on this frame. Some, here she is. Mm -hmm. There's the queen there. Can you, can you get a close up of that please, one? Where is she? Yeah. Where? Oh, she's yes. She's been running around yeah. and, uh, inspecting. When I spotted her, she was inspecting yes. the, the, the cells. Yes, beautiful. To get ready to lay eggs. Wow. Now, that's her. What a privilege. Uh, well, uh, Anyway, that's probably enough for this field trip. <laughs> the day's getting a bit uh, a bit long in the tooth. So we'll close now and uh, we'll catch you next time. All the best. Bye.